in the Chinese factory uh, called the Great Steel Factory. I used to work with a Chinese company called China Steel Uganda Limited. I'm called the Dava Chinese Banga. Riamia Kena. Nenda Mumuaka Wakutan. Company Vajita Great Steel. By then it was called China Steel. Then after they changed their names to China Great Steel. I was working with China Construction Communication Company. I've worked for them for 11 years, since 2008. By me working with them, I got a lot of things that are both good and bad. They underpay people. Secondly, they also have that issue of uh, kicking and harassing people. And uh, they have so many other things that they do. They have language barrier, and uh, they want people to work the way they... Uh, you know, in, in their place, I think there's, there's no... They are not regulated properly. You know, Chinese, what I discovered is Chinese, they have one thing in Uganda today. They don't follow the procedures or the rules that are being laid down by the government. Maybe like, maybe if you have a worker, you have to sign a contract with him. Maybe I'm silver, I'm signing with the China Great Steel. I'll be working with them for maybe two years, maybe as an engineer or as an, an operation manager or something. Or even if a casual worker, you see, at least you sign a contract. Then, uh, if not that, there's this whereby every work is entitled to register with NSSF or pay as you earn. See, each worker is entitled to a national, maybe a work ID. Sorry to say, maybe I call it a national, but a work ID and uh, protective gears. Eh? We are the government, but the overall, no. In this steel company, we receive variety of, we call it scrap. That's, let me call them raw materials for producing these steel bars, whereby in these raw materials we meet a lot of things. In which this scrap, there were bombs, because I remember one day, I remember we found a grenade. We had to call a bomb squad, they come and detonated that from there, near the company. Uh, there are guns, machine guns found there. There are very many stuff, dangerous things found there. A lot of what the accident in that world factory, and the Sometime back, uh, that very year, and when I was in the village, somebody was what? Somebody died there. You know these shock absorbers, eh? For cars and motorcycles, they're also dangerous. So during the process of smelting, something had to burst from that. It hit him in the head, he died on spot. What I heard, they encouraged some colleagues to push that body outside, and they say that, uh, this may be a vehicle knocked over what? Mm. After carrying this dead body to the weighing bridge, they're like, no. They had to tell the interpreter. By then I remember the interpreter was called Philip. Can you tell this boy to carry this boy, this body, take it outside of our company? So that in case police comes, they deny maybe the boy got an accident from outside the company. He's not the worker. You see? Uh, what do you want, uh? Echuma cha mute maku ingalu injala zino inya zino na sigaza chino na ya lia wali mumbera ya kwe ya mumbera si nunge na lind na walowe lola zvazi taro zvazi zikole zimtai zikole mtai imba na kumu na lindi mukute zvazi lola zvezo manzi wakali mule mukwangi na lindi sumulola kila wakali kwa chindo cha yuchuli se. Chaichuli seko, machine yachikuwa tani chiska. Ninja wala ukweska, umu grab at least chochi gende, umu kono kusigali. Ni machine yaska ni chigrab ni chitwali yapo umu kono leva gulia. Kono leva machine, engali machine nzinga nzinga nziko ya. Bicha tu kwa o, na vera au bwe watu kwa bano ni ya intambulo kuto amu mudo aliyo. Walwe mokas kwa pe ya ya o, saje na ngamba zeka muta se mutoa mudo aliyo. Ni wanatu wa wala matuga, kalwari ya kali yao. Ni wanatu wa msa wa nangu wa nagamba mkono galo mashini. Ezi ni zigoe 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 z
We want to allow you to get clinic town. We want to say you. I'm so 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 I'm there is a boy called Omaido. Omaido was also doing the same smelting. So this smelt iron, eh? that spark fell on him. It burnt him seriously. As I was removing that metal, the friend was behind, eh? who was also working on the water, on that department. He, he switched the water, the, the, uh, the, the switch. Now, as I was getting out i felt what i felt the fire and burning me from the buttocks up the water the legs so there i had it what to make an alarm people came and they first removed the gum on the uh, first leg then the one they the last removed uh, the gum had already what uh, had already melted Umukozi. I took almost one what one one month and a week. When I was on the bed, I could not what could not get up what what until they what they treated and it got somehow. There they discharged me. I went in the village because. Uh, there was there was no continuous what job. Uh. It's only after me and my friends coming up like trying to complain, complain. That's when they got maybe ashamed. Eh? They started running to the hospital, maybe throwing some little money at the hospital, but they eventually paid the hospital bills. After paying the hospital bills, uh, the boy was like he was not going to be compensated. Then again, the name for injury or kugulu nemare miyeze na ngasi kola nganta mbulira kumigo. Na ye cheva kore chama ni na maro mwezi gumu nga kare bamba yo mutua rongo mita nuato mala kusika mguwa na avu si gamba ntio baba rumiru anti chiva kunto vyo mti magua avu I suffer the thing again I mean the thing again continued I suffered so I was like ah let me go back there to see these people. Because they had promised me when I was in the hospital that they were going to pay me from insurance company. And so I came back this way. Again, it was a war to get the water, to get some help, some assistance from those who Chinese. It was a war. I button. The Compensation Act states that people who have been injured at work should be compensated after they have been treated. So the employer is responsible for treating the person who was injured at the job until he has what? He has cured from the accident. And it is only after that, that's when we can bring in what? Compensation. He was not going to be compensated. So the boy was maybe a bit tricky. He had to find a lawyer. After getting a lawyer, that's when they felt a bit ashamed. After feeling a bit ashamed, they had to sit down with the lawyer. They paid the boy two million. The lawyer almost took halfway, and maybe the boy took one million. You see, and from that the job was gone. You know, immediately after after getting money from them, you're no longer their worker, and there's no way you can claim. After the accident, it took me two years to resume what working. I sent the zebampa zo, the zebampa. Kali okso kila dalanga na katuka mduari. Zina kuzina mala yu, zina kuisatu, bobi basa sura, zina kuisatu, kwa zina kuisatu zina mala bobi basa sura. Adhen zinazo kudanga yuko la dagala bichi bichi, unemkwa dagala inbari pani kiranga, mwe sote jina inbari pani kana zidi nune, mwe zidi nune zikuwe ndi gula, zina tani kanga kuzi sa. Kwa zizi zebasa sura yeri, mwe zina kuisatu zina mala zuzo sisi samani. Zuzi kwa zizi nazo bamba, zuzi kesi anazwe, wengine lomko nge na guani ya dada. Ati kwenye galu kudaiyo, ni ni wali, bali wali talo ya wabu, wali talo ya, 
nafe tuwa kufuna yenu loya tukuleche kwa wanga mba mbu yeta agisa kwa nzi naisi bimanyi katuwa ya winageza kwa mbuitiramu na nsaba ya sabi ya sabi mitu biyali bisatu nina sabina ya nsaba mundi kwa badiba nsasuli ya sente zo mwezi zo msala kasijina ya nsaba mundi kwa nafuni ya mwurimu na yunga sijina na ngamba yete chintu chonacho nechilaga ni mbukamba ngujeko ndoza kukambi nga sina na kukalaga kuna nga sina chintu chonacho nga chila chila nante nkula na wakujia kwa jake tioka ni panga mba katu kena kolote ni mbukamba katiri mtu wali yo nga inia chintu chonechilaga mbuna wewa tulubali ni mbukamba katu kena kufakta mtu wuzabuli mtu ya nati wali ya ina ni panga mba at least the company ya yamani inzo bete koko banga ba demo shuali insi tu gani tu kule tu kule tu tu kule tu tu kule 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 you're given first aid, immediately you leave the camp on that day, you go back home. The next day you're not their worker. They even tell the gate man, of which they are soldiers, if that boy comes here, don't allow him to come in. He shouldn't come to our office. And they also, they work under orders. You can't reach their officer to claim for anything. Once you're thrown out, you're thrown out. So for my sake, when I got an accident, and you remember there are instances whereby I used to tell them, if you're not giving us our work IDs, we are not working. If you're not giving us protective gear, we're not working. And we need to register with the NSSF. That's when they're like, ah, this boy is a bit clever. He's going to make these people know what they're supposed to, to ask for. So they had these plans. When I reached at the gate, I know I remember I fell sick for three days. When I reached at the gate, I'm like, ah, you no longer have work here. See? You no longer have work here. I began by washing. I was washing for them. Then I have my boss. I think he saw something good. He was like, ah, maybe she can handle kitchen work. He began training me. He trained me, trained, it's called Mr. Q. He was the accountant of the company. He trained me. Mm. I learned each and everything. When the construction was almost getting like over, you know, the, 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 they have their, when it's getting over, they got another contract. That contract was in Rachitura, Kaguta Road. So I was transferred there as a chef. I chefed for them for three years in a, a place called Rugonji. They gave me transfer. Again, I was still chafing for these guys here. That's how I met this man. I was with him, but, and I, I conceived. A month ended and I got my salary. And I told them I have some small problem. I have to go home. I'll come back. And I was allowed, I went. Reaching there, I had a lot of problems, this and that and that. I couldn't be back at the right time they expected me. You're not supposed to miss for three consecutive days. See, one, you don't rest, no offs. Maybe you're supposed to get an off. One off, maybe a week, maybe every Friday I'm getting an off, you know. Maybe I'm supposed to rest Sunday, no. Maybe in a month twice, no. If you miss for two days, you are losing work. Because there's no you're going to claim. You're not their worker. Reason why am I saying you're not their worker? You don't have a worker ID. That, that man there, the kitchen man, was like, ah, you cannot work. Because even you're pregnant now, you're... Eh? I said, what is this? He fired me. The Chinese were informed, people who could come and visit me after giving birth. They told the Chinese, hey, you people, Goretti has a, a baby China. This manager, general manager came. He's called Mr. Zhang. He came, but he, 
For us Ugandans, we call him combat man, eh? because he puts on soldier uniform. I tell you something about these Chinese. They come to Uganda. When they come to Uganda, they're either, I won't say maybe they're either backed up, but they are protected by our government. He came with the accountant. He gave me 100,000. Accountant also gave me 100,000. Since then, they didn't return. They left. They didn't return. So I stayed there, I was still there suffering, what, what, what? Maybe we kept on growing, kept on growing. You know, with problems, I kept on begging, begging around. People even laughed at me. The way I was, this is not me. This is not me. They first torture you, squeeze you uh, until you get pain and you accept any, uh, the, the little money that you are not supposed to eh? get. I'm dying. And then the company itself. <laughs> because I was employed, I worked for them. Eh? 11 years I'm working for them, cooking for them. The Chinese, not black people. And then reaching this point, you look at me like I've never been with. I don't know. This is what they have paid me for, cooking for them for all those years. They have paid me by giving me this pain I'm passing through, these tears. Hold on, Nandi. You can't get out of here. You can't get out of here. You can't get out of here. You can't get out of <laughs> My baby's there sick. I even don't have a 50 cent to take him to the hospital. He's very sick. <laughs> she's, she's unique in the sense that she managed to spend that many years working for people in circumstances like those. And this, sh like, this should never happen. You cannot fire a woman for doing what's natural, being pregnant. And given the, the work hours she had to work, it probably makes sense that she ended up meeting a Chinese because basically those are the only people she was seeing. And then she gets pregnant and they don't even want to take responsibility for the child. They don't want to even allow her keep working so that she can feed that child, which is kind of inhuman. Don't they think their child deserves at least a life where they can eat? Because this is someone who is like among the poorest. They are doing very casual work, which means they, they live a hand to mouth. And now you've sucked them when they have another mouth coming on their way to feed. It's, it's very, it's, it's, it's almost not human. It's, and, and then again, it's, she's, she's not the only one. I mean, there is the case of uh, people, uh, someone like Annette, Nam, Annette who has, and, and his other, and another plaintiff who have gone to court for being fired because they, because they are HIV positive. In Uganda, I mean, that's why, Uganda has been highlighted as one of the countries that did well in fighting the HIV pandemic. Stigma like that is, is just unbelievable. And it's also surprising that you have a health, you have a health worker agreeing to such, doing such a thing, testing people so that uh, then handing over the results because there is supposed to be doctor, patient doctor confidentiality. You're not supposed to give the, their results to someone else. Let's even assume for argument's sake that you got consent from them. You know, the only way you give results to someone else is you give those results to the person and that person takes it. It's not the doctor's job to give results to someone else. And of course, then it just doesn't make sense that the Chinese would go so, so far as to fire someone. They are not sick, they are not, like, they are not failing to do their work. You've known that they had been doing their work, but you're like, now that I, I know they are HIV positive, I do not want to uh, have them work for me, but it's a sensible thing. I mean, if they are sleeping with their workers and, and getting them pregnant, it makes sense that they would then test them and fire them so that I guess they don't contract HIV, uh, which is also like, because I mean, this is supposed to be a relationship, but if you're going to have sex with your workers and fire them for getting pregnant, 
then you cut the relationship and therefore resort to that such an inhuman way of dealing with problems in the workplace. It's just not acceptable. The people who are concerned, like managers, the government should what? Should we tell those people or should we teach those people what to do? And to do to the what to the foreigners that uh, yes you are you are you are constructing what? A factory. Eh? But you, what you are, you have to do hmm, is A, B, C, D. To make sure that the, the workers are handled properly and not mistreated. Hmm. President Tasobola Tambula Kujia Ku Company, Ntia Jekinga Vakozi Engeri Embera Jevalimu, Wawula Vatuma, Nzebe Mbreminga, e, Teva Fayo, Munto Wawansi, Ti Company, Eno Tuji Ingi Demu Nae, Embera Yawa Kozi Eri Etia. When they are employing you, one, they'll ask for your name. After recording down your name, they will enter you into your, their books and they're like, you're going to start working from here. Remember the place you're going to work from, you don't know how much you're going to earn. See, you don't know whether you have a uniform or you don't have a uniform. You don't know the type of work you're going to work, but they just place you in a different place. Whether you are qualified for that, whether you're not qualified, whether you're educated, whether you're not, they care less. The only person they value most, the interpreter. There is no work at that Chinese company or any Chinese company that will tell my dear, I'm going to work at that company but I'll be earning this money or I'll work for this long. The way you come is the way they take you. If me, I'm earning 7,000 daily, the next time someone comes, we'll earn 6,000 daily. According to how you come, if you need a job, like a please, I need a job, they can't even give you for that, provided they give you lunch. You eat lunch, for them, they're like maybe Africans work for food, see? We don't have a minimum uh, minimum wage uh, for this country. The last one is six thousand, which was 1975, when we last what had a minimum wage, which has overtaken by events, the inflation, and so forth. And you are right that uh, some of them earn very little money, which cannot really uh, recover and look after their families. But because of an economic situation, the employment situation, they still continue uh, moving, hoping that the, the situation will improve and they get a higher what? Higher pay. What you are just supported, you come, you are given 20,000, 50,000, go to the hospital, come back, transport, but you're not supported, maybe at home, maybe your family or anything, you're not compensated. When you are done, it's a gone case, you're done. I've worked for Chinese companies for over seven years, but uh, I've, I will deceive you if I tell you that I have any copy of uh, a contract or uh, any appointment letter from, from the employer. They will just give you a job, they will give you a small card where they will take the day. Today you have worked, then they, they say you've worked. If it rains, you haven't worked, so it will not be considered at the end of the month. If you fall sick, you haven't worked. The casualization of labor or working without appointment letters is a bridge of the Employment Act that an employer, employee should have an appointment letter indicating where he's working and the salary is going to get and the conditions uh, which uh, he's supposed to work uh, to get sweaty. It is all prescribed in the Employment Act under the labor laws. But because uh, our work, which is not an excuse for an employer not to have given what an employee, this, that's a bridge of what? Of really the law uh, to provide what? Appointment letters for workers. But also it is part of, all, of negligence from the workers and the, the labor unions because these workers are unionized to make sure that these unions can fight for their what? For their rights. Because individually they may not fight for what? For their rights. I think the Chinese, first of all, they don't want an uh, organized workforce. Because we even approached them, but uh, they were not taking action. They don't want to, to see workers organized. And that one uh, creates a lot of problems. Now, what we have done of late, we even resorted in taking them to court.